What's going on, y'all? It's J.D. Pacquiao with On3 today on The Hard Count. Miles Brennan is walking away from football. What does this mean for LSU? Welcome into the Hard Count, the people show for every single thing that you know and that you love about college football. It happens here on a daily basis. Nick Bray does the heavy lifting. You can help drive the show by subscribing to the channel. Now, some breaking news. Miles Brennan, the LSU quarterback, who a lot of people had thought, based on experience alone, might be the guy in game one for LSU, is walking away from football. This coming after, reportedly, he is going to be informed by the staff that he is not going to be the starting quarterback for the Tigers this fall. Brennan, a guy that... A lot of people in Louisiana would be behind based on just how much that he's given to this program, how much he's stuck around by how gritty he is and just kind of how tough of a career he had at LSU. Just things never seemed to really break his way, whether it was health or whatever it may be. He actually hit the portal for a minute. Brian Kelly talked him into coming back to LSU to have a chance to fight for the job. But it sounds like Jane Daniels and Garrett Nussmeyer have ultimately put too strong of a sample size forward for Miles Brennan. And now that's going to be the way that they go in terms of what they do during week one and, and throughout the duration of the season. So, as it stands right now, there is a lot of chatter, nothing confirmed, but a lot of chatter around Jaden Daniels being your guy for game one. Now, you know how I feel about this. I think that eventually, Garrett Nussmile will be the starting quarterback for LSU, whether it's game eight, whether it's earlier than that. I think Garrett Nussmeyer is your guy because of how high a ceiling you have for him at quarterback, but ultimately, it is no longer a three-horse race. It is Garrett Nussmeyer and Jane Daniels. And credit to the staff for doing right by Miles Brennan and letting him know, hey, we're not going to be going with you towards, you know, as we get into the fall, this is kind of where we stand. So ultimately, I think as a Tiger fan, you just got to tip your hat to Miles Brennan for, for all that he's done for the program, like I said, for as gritty as he has been, for as much as he's hung with the Tigers through thick and thin, through different coaching staffs. He is a guy that I would hope be remembered fondly in Baton Rouge and a guy who has, like I said, stuck with this program through thick and thin. So kind of short and sweet, but as a whole, Miles Brennan walking away from football, sounding like it could be Jaden Daniels, but as a whole, a two-horse race as it comes to the quarterback battle in Baton Rouge. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitter, at JD Pacquel. We're going to keep the party rolling. We will see y'all next time. Hey, y'all. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel here to make sure you don't miss an episode of The Hard Count. Also, be sure to check out other videos on the On3 YouTube channel.